when I have a look at relationships, there's four elements that I think are really, really important. This is like based on, on my research. It'd be awesome to hear what you guys think as well. But it's compatibility. So understanding there's that alignment to, you know, interests, goals, lifestyle, all those beautiful things. There's also consideration that that person actually has self-awareness. That person has um, emotional intelligence. Otherwise, it's like doing a dance with someone who's stamping all over your feet. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be able to dance well together in that relationship. There's also that level of communication because you need to have those deep talks sometimes. You need to be able to have deep discussions about the things that mean most to you. I mean, like I said, my partner and I, we love psychology and we've had a, a two hour discussion before. Now, this is really geeky, by the way, on um, uh, the meaning of sorry, you know, and how to apologize and what the best way to apologize is and where all that comes from and everything. And then the last one is that collaboration. And this is the difference between a healthy relationship and a narcissistic one, because in order to collaborate well, you need to be accountable for yourself. You need to be accountable for your emotions, your goals, your happiness. It's not, oh, well, I can only be happy if I'm in a relationship and meet the right person. It's actually, no, it's allowing yourself to be this whole independent person, meeting someone else who's got that whole independent streak as well and building something strong together. And this is why I love finding the truth of someone finding the truth of who they are, understanding the truth of who you are and the truth of what that relationship's gonna be in the future. I love all four of those C's and I, I feel the collaboration piece especially <laughs> is need to feel equal, right? So many of these relationships start out with this imbalance. And again, we talk about toxic relationships, they'll use that imbalance against you. But in order to collaborate, you really have to see each other as equal. And there are gonna be times where you don't necessarily get what you want, but you know that collaboratively, this is gonna fill your partner's tank. This is gonna be something that potentially lights your partner up and vice versa. That ability for that give and take, I think, is where a lot of I found in our clients in their their dating right now, the second there's any tension there, they're excited to go find that next person to go onto this next adventure of a new first date. And and I find with the apps and the accessibility now that everyone is craving this connection, that you can almost become addicted to that first date experience of like, oh, the discovery. But it's very surface level, like what you're talking about with these four C's, that deeper connection, that's not sparked on a first date. That's really taking some time and some thoughtfulness and communicating to get to know the other person and get a fuller picture than any profile and any 45 minute, three hour coffee date, dinner date, walk in the park date is really going to give you. I was going to say, I love the fact that you talked about the equality part, because like, if you are equals in a relationship, it creates that deeper passion, that chemistry. And that's when you're having people having, you know, better sex lives, basically. Because if you don't have that level of equal partnership, you end up in this parent child dynamic. And I see so many relationships fall into this. It's like, oh, cool, you've got the parent and the child, and you just lose all that passion. You, you know, the child, the person who plays, then the child is constantly being, you know, nagged and told to, you know, sort things out. And the person who's the parent in the relationship is often the one that feels bossy. And there's that big disconnect. So having that equal footing in the very beginning is um, super important, but it's also important to maintain that as well. And there's a few different power plays that uh, can obviously influence that. Mm -hmm.